So we're here at uh, NVIDIA, here at CES 2013. So NVIDIA had a huge press conference with the CEO announcing many things. So there's a uh, what, for example? Oh, we had uh, four great exciting announcements uh, yeah, exactly. this year at CES. Firstly, we talked about uh, GeForce Grid, which is our cloud gaming initiative where we use our GeForce GPUs to stream games to you know, TVs, uh, mobile phones, uh, tablets, and other mobile devices. Uh, over there? Sure. So, uh, the Grid is actually a new GPU designed for servers. Yes, it's basically, it's basically GPUs in the cloud. It uh, involves uh, you know, three technologies. One is uh, basically the GeForce GPU that uh, renders the game uh, and it uh, encodes the game and streams it across the network. And we also do a virtualization of the GPU whereby you can have multiple users connecting to the same GPU and like, you know, playing ga games at the same time. And uh, that way you can stream to like smart TVs that have application processors to decode the game stream that comes in. You can stream it to mobile phones and you can also stream it to tablets and other devices that uh, support can we go people. closer to the screen over there? Sure. So, uh, how far away do you need to be? Uh, can we look at the server down there? How far sure. away do you need to be for uh, for for this work? Like, uh, uh, it's all done over the internet, so it, it all depends on your internet bandwidth and your internet latency. Uh, we have special technologies in our grid uh, which reduces latency uh, in terms of encoding the game and sending it across the stream. And then if you have a really uh, high bandwidth, uh, you know, low latency connection either within your home or across the internet, you know, you get real-time uh, gaming experience. So you kind of need to have it in the same city, in the same uh, country, or what is a... Potentially, the requirements. Uh, it depends. The it depends on the latency and bandwidth that your, you know, telco provider can deliver, right? If they can, uh, you know, deliver less than 100 millisecond latency across the country, sure, you can do it. So a lot of it depends on the latency, and we have special technologies to help reduce the latency uh, uh, to enable cloud gaming. And this is the first time you announced it? Uh, yes, we talked about it a little bit last year, but this is the first time we are publicly showing off the grid and showing off live demos of you know uh, cloud-based gaming. So there was a there was a company uh, that, was, that had a product. I forgot the name. Right. Uh, last year we talked about Gaikai uh, using some of our services to uh, you know deliver cloud gaming. But uh, this year we have around nine companies that we are working with to bring cloud gaming uh, uh, across the world. There was something else. I forgot the name. Uh, online, right? Uh, what is online. The what is so the main difference is online. The problem is uh, they needed to have one GPU dedicated per end user. Yeah. And the cool thing about NVIDIA Grid is because of virtualized GPUs, we can have up to you know more than one user, up maybe even 20 to 25 users running on the same GPU, depending on the type of game that is uh, being run. All right, so it's super optimal, using the least power as possible. Exactly. Uh, you can imagine it. A single uh, GeForce uh, Grid server is equivalent to around uh, 700 Xbox 360s, but it consumes five times less power. All right, so let's check the next uh, the next user. Have a, uh, user. Sure. So, uh, uh, let's head this way. Uh, so in this area, we are showing off uh, how Tegra powers automotives. Uh, we have a Tesla S and an Audi S7 where the Tegra 3 uh, chip is being used to power the infotainment center in these cars. So the, this is the next Tegra, the, the next Tesla with Tegra inside? Yeah, this is the Tesla S and then we have the Audi S7. And Audi also announced that uh, they, they'll be using our Tegra-based infotainment center from in all their uh, line of Audi cars starting from the Audi A3 all the way up to the Audi S7. Alright. So uh, those are cars. Right. And so NVIDIA is doing a big effort to get into the car business. Right, and uh, you know that those efforts are play, uh, paying off very well. We are in a lot of car designs, including the Audi, the Volkswagen, the BMW, Aston Martin, Lamborghini, and many others. So we're really excited about our automotive business and its growth. But the big announcement at the press conference. Right. The big, the big like that got the whole engine right, to right. explode basically. Mm -hmm. The biggest announcement, yeah, is uh, you know our Tegra 4 based project Shield uh, portable gaming device. Uh, it's revolutionary in concept. Uh, you basically can enjoy all your PC games that are streamed live to your Shield uh, Project Shield uh, gaming device, and you can also enjoy all your Android games that you purchased on Google Play and all the high-end Android games yeah. that are going to be coming to Google Play on this, you know, 
portable gaming device. So this is uh, for, this is actually a real device that actually works. Exactly, it's uh, you know it's uh, it's a real device. It's not the final production device, but it kind of gives you a very good idea of like what it's going to look at when it comes to market. So right. So we have right. Uh, we are not showing any hands-on experience right now to the public, but uh, eventually we will uh, when it's ready, we will be you know happy to share that experience. Can you explain a little bit, figure four. Sure. What's new? So it's not Cortex A15. Cortex yeah. So. Tegra 4 is the most powerful mobile processor in the world today. It includes a quad-core Cortex A15 CPU along with a battery saver core which is also an A15 core. Uh, it has 72 customized GPU cores in them. Uh, it also comes with a you know, i500 LT modem chipset, so you can pair Tegra 4 with that chipset to get LTE connectivity. Uh, it delivers brand new experiences like real-time HDR video and photography, which uses our computational, you know, photography engine to bring real-time HDR videos and photos and uh, other, uh, you know, image processing applications that can use this computational engine to deliver new experiences. Nice. So this is uh, being demonstrated. Take a four. Right. So. Uh, so we have our Tegra 4 device there, uh, which is our reference platform uh, running one of our brand new games. Uh, so this is a Tegra 4 reference platform running one of our brand new games, Blood Sword. Uh, as you can see, the graphics quality is am amazing, and it looks almost like a you know high-end console games. So these are the kind of games that you can expect to see on Tegra 4 powered devices, and also on Project Shield. And they'll all fully support controllers, so you can play them like a uh, you know console device, but it's not really a console; it's an open gaming platform. So basically, on the Shield, people can play with the Tegra 4. They right. can play with the grid. Uh -huh. And they can play with the whole computer. Yep. Right. And uh, that's basically. 3 in 1. Yeah, and it's not just about gaming, it's also about video playback. Tegra 4 supports 4K video decode. So if you have 4K video content or your high quality Blu ray content sitting in your home PC or on a server or in your HD PC, you can stream those videos to your Project Shield device and view them on a big screen TV. Uh, you can use it to you know, access Facebook, you can use it uh, uh, to access all your photos online, surf the web, uh, do anything that you can do on an Android mobile device, you can do through Project Shield. What is a nanometer? Is it 28? Uh, Tegra 4 is based on 28 nanometer process. 28, how soon? And how much? Uh, you can expect to see Tegra 4 based devices coming out, uh, you know, soon this year. Soon this year? Yeah, I would. It's going to be mass market. It's going to be for everybody. Yes. All right. And uh, what, what are you talking about when you say 4K? Over there, there's some 4K. Yeah, here's a demonstration of a Tegra 4 reference. Sure. Yeah. Some processors and like has to go through. Yeah. So this is a Tegra 4 uh, reference platform. It has a 4K video, which is you know ultra HD. That's four times the resolution of uh, standard 1080p. It's decoding that video and powering this 4K TV to give you really good uh, quality and uh, clarity. But can you output 4K with the HDMI? Ah, uh, yes. You can. Full 4K. Full 4K. 30 frames per second or right. 60 or? Uh, I don't know the frame rate here, but uh, as you can see, it's uh, really smooth. I think this content is encoded in 24 frames per second, like most movies, and that's what we're showing here. So at the press conference, they were playing games on the 4K TV, but the, the, the graphics were not 4K, right? Right. The games uh, on Project Shield obviously is 720p resolution, so it is being outputted at 720p to the TV. So 720p graphics, you mean? Right. Not 1080p graphics. On the uh, Tegra 4. Tegra 4 supports 1080p up to 25 by 16, but Project Shield, because the display on the uh, Project Shield is uh, 720p, it's mirroring that display to yours. So you just mirror? Right. But in theory, you could uh, run... In theory, uh, you could go 1080p. all the way up to 25 by 16, even higher than 1080p. 2160? 25, yeah. But uh, for, what's it called, uh, for games? Graphics? Uh, yeah, games. Resolution? You could have games running at that resolution too. But not as many like details and action and stuff as 720p or 1080p? Uh, it depends on the game. depends on what kind of graphics effects they use in the game. Uh, they'll have to make the appropriate uh, you know, uh, optimizations. Did you say that the Tigger 4 is more powerful than the Xbox 360, uh, the PlayStation 3? Can you say? What do you think? Uh, I wouldn't say that, but I think uh, the, it's 
they're certainly raising the bar on the graphics capabilities of mobile devices. And as you can see in these games, the graphics quality in these games are getting you know better and better and getting more closer to you know consoles uh, that are available today.